8th of April you came last time to see me on the awful morning after the fire when my building, which was a week away from being completed, burnt down. But I'm pleased to say that since then um, we've cleared the site, uh, the foundations were okay, the metal feet for the building were okay. My biggest um, running around has been finding more chestnut trees, which um, I've now got. Um, they came on site, most of them from Hascombe, only four miles away, because this is a sustainable green building. We're trying to be as using as much local material as we can. So trees from four miles away, I've scraped them. And last week I had a, a local construction firm started to help me. They came on site and we've been cracking on. And as you can see, we've got some frames made already. And probably about a month away from now, we'll have a crane on site and we'll put all the components that we've been making together as one erected frame. So it'll look very exciting in about a month's time. We're looking towards the summer. Um, the school would like the building to be open for the speech day. There's opening and there's opening. There's a lot to do once the building's done because it's a, it's a building that will be used for pupils as well. So I have to kit it out and get a workshop up, up and running. But certainly September is when I want to have classroom activity going on. We had an outstanding planning application for a, a, the access deck at the front so that's been resolved and we've also gone for getting more natural light into the building so we've got large skylights, we've got large A-frame or A-shaped windows by some of those frames so it features that more but um, it was 99% happy with it anyway I mean if the fire hadn't have come brilliant it was a dream come true but because of that awful night or event, however one looks at it, it gave me the opportunity just to make a few tweaks. Well, I'm a Welshman, you can't keep a good boy down, you know. On the night of the fire, I said goodbye to that, that building because I felt I'm a po it's as if a potter had dropped a pot and it had broken. What does a potter do? You make another one. So what do I do? I've made another one. It's just going to take a bit longer because it's larger. I've had great support from the people at the school and the village. Um, even the insurance company are being very helpful. They can see what I did before and had someone helping me and they're just saying go for it, do it again. So everybody's right behind me which is fantastic.